Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a kind of unboxing and haul and swatch video for the MAC 2021 Spring Collection. This year the collection is called the Black Cherry Collection. It is, I'm going to read you the little thing, transform a brief moment of cherry blossom bliss into a full season of happiness with a complete color collection for eyes, lips, and skin. It's interesting it says eyes because I haven't seen like an eyeshadow palette. The only eye thing in here is an eyeliner. Um, and it says each product is wrapped and ready to gift in limited edition moon bloom packaging. So the first thing that I thought when I saw this collection is wow that's really really pretty but it also kind of reminded me of like the 2019 MAC release which was boom boom bloom. Kind of had like a similar idea except those were all pink and these are all kind of more black. Uh, packaging if you know what I mean but it was based off that same like cherry blossom kind of idea I don't know whatever uh, they also had similar si like similar type descriptions like they all said like a, a Sakura whatever Sakura is sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong uh, base shades like Sakura inspired shades it was kind of the same thing um, but whatever I picked up so on the Canadian website, now here's the thing, in the release photos, it looks like there's more products available, more lipstick shades, more blush shades, that sort of thing. But on the website, like the MAC website, I could only get um, three lipsticks, three lip balm products, three blushes, and then they also had a setting spray, a Fix Plus limited edition setting spray, and uh, an eyeliner, as I mentioned, and also a lip prep and prime, which we will talk about right now because I've got it. I already have a lip prep and prime. This is the normal one. The only thing that is different about the one coming out right now is it has limited edition packaging, which will look like the eyeliner packaging that I will show you in a little bit. But if you don't have a lip prep and prime lip, um, which we call it, what are these lip bomb it's kind of like a bomb basically i'm already wearing one mine right now um it is just a clear bomb that goes on and it helps to moisturize your lips it helps give your lipsticks and your lip color something to stick to without drying out your lips and it also prevents feathering these are really really good to have they're good to throw on just on their own they are very moisturizing but they are also fantastic under lipsticks i've had one of these in my makeup collection for years not the same one i've gone through several of them this is probably of all the makeup products that i have the thing that I've replaced the most because it's the only one I've ever kind of seen like it. Um, I don't know. I'm sure other brands have versions of this. I've just never seen one. I know that there was a drugstore brand that put out a lip crayon that was like a clear lip crayon that was supposed to do the same thing. But I don't know. I like this much, much more. If this is something you guys are interested in, it is a $24 value. Right now, you could get the limited edition one or you could just get the regular one. It is always on their website. And the other thing that I didn't buy, I did not buy. Now, this is not obviously from this collection. This is from the fruity juicy collection that came out a couple summers ago um the reason i didn't buy the fix plus for this collection it is a beautiful beautiful bottle i will put a picture of it here it is cherry blossom scented i'm not a big floral person i much much prefer like the coconut scented setting spray um also i have a ton of setting spray not only mac setting spray but like every other brand as well i've got a ton of it i've got more than i feel like i'll ever go through so it just didn't make any sense to me personally to purchase another one however if you're looking for a really good setting spray refreshing spray really really good also for making um your eyeshadows really pop fix plus is one of the best if not the best out there it is fantastic it is one of those like old cult classics they have several scents now there's like a cucumber, lavender, coconut. I think they have like a rose water one. Uh, and right now they've got the cherry blossom or there's just the unscented one if you like going down that route. But it is a really, really, really good product. It is a $37 setting spray. So it's actually pretty affordable in my mind. Obviously it's not in the realm of like drugstore ones, but for some of the high-end ones, they can get pretty pricey for just setting sprays. These are fantastic. They look amazing, flawless all day. And they also have a range of Fix Plus setting sprays right now that have some like, they're called Gold Light, Pink Light. And I don't know if they still have the Bronze Light one or if that one was limited edition, but they've got like these like micro pearlescent powders in them that when you shake them up and spray them, they kind of give you like this shimmery, glitzy kind of a look. Really, really pretty. So now let's get into the products that I do have. I'm just opening this box for the first time right now there's a couple other like mac products that i picked up so i'll just put those over here because they have nothing to do with the collection that's just me uh not knowing when to say no first of all let's talk about the packaging it is 
on the floor. It is absolutely beautiful. They all come in like a black box with these beautiful, beautiful like pink uh, cherry blossoms on them and the writing is like a pink metallic writing. So the same packaging is for all of the lip products. And I don't know if it's the same for the blushes because they put them in like extra mailing packets. Like everything's in the box except the blushes come in like an extra bubble proof envelope which is kind of interesting maybe because they are more fragile they're more worried about them breaking so I really really like to see that perhaps Mac has gotten complaints about flushes breaking during transit and they're stepping up their game I really really like that Mac is and always has been like my favorite favorite makeup brand um, for forever it was my first one so there's that little bit of nostalgia to it I also have a bunch of like not a bunch of I have a, a few really good friends that work for Mac um, that are always looking out for me, telling me when new collections are coming out. But I just love MAC so much. It's never steered me wrong. I cannot think of a MAC product I've ever tried that I didn't like, which says a lot because that is not the case for most other brands. So this is what the eyeliner looks like. And the Prep and Prime Limp Pencil is a similar thing. It's like got a matte case with like this metallic pink rosy uh, kind of top. So this is the Brush Stroke 24 Hour Liner. This is in brush black. I don't know if I've tried this one before, but I've tried another MAC felt liner and I really like them. They have a beautiful, beautiful thin tip, nice and flexible, absolutely gorgeous. I really like the feel of this pen, as weird as that is, because it is kind of a matte. It's, it's a little more grippy than if it were like a metallic one or just like their normal um, like shiny black plastic. I really like that. I'm not going to do a swatch of it. It is just a black eyeliner, but MAC makes really good black eye. Well, yeah, well, I want you guys to kind of see how black is black. I really like this one. So super, super, hold on, come on, focus. Uh, my camera is being a butthead. So it is super black. You can get a nice thin line, really easy to build up as well. It's not the blackest of black eyeliners I've ever had. Um, but it's good. They do wear for a really long time. And I am a huge fan I'm trying to get a makeup wipe out before this does stain my hand for 12 hour wear because I don't need that kind of nonsense happening today. Um, I do really like felt liners. If you're not into felt liners, this might not be the product for you. But if you're wanting a piece of the collection, just maybe for um, the packaging and it's this packaging that you like. It is a $27 eyeliner, which is eh, kind of up in the uh, upper range as far as eyeliners go, but it is a really nice product. I'm looking forward to wearing it. Ultimately, I probably should have put it on today, but I got a little too like uh, wired uh, trying. I am testing out a new foundation. If you guys are interested in that, keep an eye out. The video will be coming up soon. It is another MAC product, which is really exciting because I haven't like tested a MAC foundation in forever so far I'm really liking the way it looks um but I was in such a rush to get the rest of my makeup on to get filming this because I really was really excited to go through it so like I said all of the packaging kind of looks the same so I'm going to take everything out of the box and out of these bags and then come back and we're going to start swatching some stuff Alrighty, so I've got everything unpackaged it's out of its boxes and we are ready and I am just living for this packaging. I'm just going to show you guys. So first things first, we have the Glow Play Lip Balms. I haven't heard of these. I know they had Tender Talk Lip Balms before. I don't know if this is maybe a new formula. I'll have to take a look at it, but this is what the packaging looks like. I'll just show you guys one really quickly. So for this, it is a matte cap with, again, those beautiful, beautiful, like, cherry blossom flowers all over it. The bottom is that really pretty, like, I wouldn't call it rose gold. It's just like a metallic pink. So they put out three of these. Like I said, they're might actually be more but on the website I was only able to get three so I have all three in case you guys are interested uh, these retail for $25 it says a nourishing tinted lip balm Sakura inspired shades limited edition um, the website also right now does say sold out so if you guys missed this this launched on Thursday it is now Saturday if you guys missed it don't worry too much Mac is normally really really good about doing at least one restock you'll probably be able to pick up anything that you missed there also depending on where you live you might be able to go to a Mac um, like a freestanding Mac store some Macs in like um, like uh, inside like Hudson's Bay's or Macy's or wherever you are if they don't have it a lot of them can order that was the weirdest thing that just happened I had them in my hand one went behind me one went in front of me 
Anyways, uh, even if you go to a Mac within another store, some of them are able to order online for you and you can just pick it up there. So let's get to swatching these. So this first one I've got is Pinking of You and it is a beautiful, beautiful, like bright kind of pink. I'm really interested to see what color, uh, like the color payoff is of these. They don't smell of anything in particular, so the bullet itself is all that pink color. It's just the lid that has that bit of black on it, so let's just swatch. Okay, so it is a very, very, very light tint of pink, but I think that's really pretty, really good for everyday wear for throwing in your purse, uh, just throwing on on the go just to give your lips a little bit of pigmentation, nothing crazy, obviously. Next color is Floral Coral, so it is a coral kind of a shade. I normally don't like the shape uh, of like a bullet, but because these are lip balms and not lipsticks, it's not bothering me that much. I do, you'll notice if you've ever watched any of my declutters, sometimes I get rid of lipsticks, not because they're bad or I don't like the color of the formula is not great, but just because they don't have like that nice pointed bullet shape that like MAC lipsticks and most other <laughs> lipsticks get. Like Marc Jacobs lipsticks with that little rounded, th like it drives me nuts. I don't know what it is, but uh, anyway, there's that second color there. So it's a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more pigmented. Uh, and then this last, whoa. All right, this last color looks like it's got some glitter in it, which is interesting. Did the other ones? If they did, I didn't notice, but this one is called Fleur Welcome. And it is like a darker kind of red shade. And I, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to pick it up, maybe. I can maybe get a little bit. There is a little bit of like a glitter reflect in here as well and kind of comes off more like a pink, like a really light pink, but really, really pretty. Uh, they do feel super moisturizing. Again, these are just if you're in like, you're not a big makeup wearer, you do like to wear a tinted lip balm and you wanna get a piece of the collection and the lipstick shades aren't doing it for you, maybe this is a good way to go. I feel like everybody can always use lip balms. Um, you know, our lips are always getting chapped, they need a lot of care. And these are really pretty shades, just a really nice, light, little like, flush of color to your lips, really, really pretty. So excited to use those. The three lipsticks look like this, so they are again in like that matte, black packaging with the cherry blossoms and the word, is there a word MAC on it? Yep, the word MAC, which is always on the lids of the bullets, is in that nice light pink as well. So really cool. And this is something that I'm gonna need to look into is the actual products themselves because it says the lipsticks are made in Canada, but I don't know if that means like the packaging is made in Canada or the product itself is made in Canada but the lip balms and the blushes are made in Italy, which is kind of cool. Um, so again, I don't know if that's the packaging or it's like the product itself, but why would you get your packaging like made in two different places? I don't know, that doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, this first one is a matte lipstick. It's in the shade Bloom Box. This is what it looks like, really, really pretty kind of coral, watermelon, grapefruity sort of a color. So we will swatchy swatchy it, um, hmm. I'm gonna actually wipe this off my hands, like the uh, the lip balms, because that is probably the best place for me to swatch it, is just like on my hand. And once I start going down my arm, we're gonna lose traction real quickly. So here we go again, bloom box. Let's see what this looks like. So that is that color. Um, I don't have much to say about the formula of MAC lipsticks. You guys, if you've been with me for any amount of time, know that I love MAC lipsticks. They are my absolute favorite. I love their matte formula. I love their amplified formula. It is my favorite. Uh, their cream sheens are super creamy. The satins are really nice. The only formula that MAC has that I actually really don't like is their retro matte formula, and that's just because they're just too drying. They are so drying. There's a couple others that I could probably do without, like their frosts and their lusters, but in terms of like a matte lipstick, a creamy lipstick, I, I just think that MAC is one of the best. They're the most consistent. They've had them for so, so long, and they come in so many beautiful colors. I just love them so much. This is also coming from somebody who is like a MAC lipstick collector, but I don't think you can go wrong with a MAC lipstick. Next color is another matte. It's in Moody Bloom. Ooh, she pretty red. I always love to see the kinds of reds that get put out in these sort of collections. 
Um, so this is a very, very like blue toned kind of red, which is my favorite personally kind of red. Uh, I probably didn't need this. I have so many red lipsticks and as Tom says, what's like, he'll be like, oh, pick out your reddest lipstick and I'll be like, this one's red, this one's red, this one's red. And he's like, what are you ever gonna do with that many red lipsticks? I don't care. It's so pretty. I love it so much. And the last one is another matte. So in this collection, you're only getting matte lipsticks and this is in Drama Rama. Ooh. So it's a bit more bright of like a pink. This is more watermelony uh, for sure. Let's just see what it looks like. I really like that color. I think it's really pretty. So you're getting kind of more of like an orangey coral, a red, and then a more like pink, but it's not like pink pink. It's like, I don't know, like a watermelony kind of pink. I think we're gonna wear this one. I left my lips bare so I could put something on and I think this is the one we're gonna go with. So drama rama. let's see how she looks on. Oops, I just knocked my camera out of the way. Hold on. So one swipe, first uh, impressions, so pigmented. Which is all I ever expect of MAC lipsticks. They don't ever fail me. Although my application skills do leave something to be desired. That's nice. I don't know if anybody's ever tried to like put lipstick on in front of people or put it on in front of a camera. Uh, it's really difficult. Like I swear I don't screw my makeup up this much when I'm on my own. Like it's just like when I'm with you guys that I'm like here I'm gonna put lipstick on and it just goes everywhere and it looks a mess and leads people to comment you don't even know how to put lipstick on da, da, da. so it's a pretty shoddy work here right now but we're gonna go with it because i don't got all day to fix it so that is what that color looks like right there it is really really pretty very vibrant very very spring like it's not so summery i feel like uh, some pinks could have been it's kind of a nice like transition pink between winter and summer um more of like a deep pink i'm really digging this shade i think it looks beautiful and now I've screwed my hand up. So now that my hand is stained adequately, we're going to get into the part of the collection that I personally was most exciting for, the Extra Dimension blushes. I love MAC's Extra Dimension line. I love the Extra Dimension uh, highlighters. I think they're fantastic. I love the eyeshadows. They're so good. And I've had, these are what they look like, several of the Extra Dimension blushes in the past. They are like these, um, shimmery almost metallic kind of blushes they're really hard to describe this is an old one i'm not going to swatch it i just pulled it out to kind of compare the packaging see if it was the same amount and it is so in these you are getting four grams or 0.14 ounces also since i didn't tell you the make the makeup the lipsticks are 25 dollars each and the blushes are $34 each. So these are hybrid formula, light reflecting, limited edition. So all of the shades of lipstick, lip balm, and blushes are limited edition. So if it is something you want, you're going to have to get it. It's not like you can just get it uh, any day and this is just special packaging. So this is what the packaging looks like. So freaking cute. So it's that same like pink and then you get this like matte sticker Oh, I just love these so, so much. I think that they are so pretty. They are the exact same size uh, as the original ones. The packaging's a little different just because this one's got a little bit of a raised edge, but I mean, no big deal. I also don't have blush on, so we get to play with one. So this first color is under my plum. Ooh, this is the darkest shade, if I recall. Absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna see what I mean about like this reflective thing. So first of all, they are so soft so creamy so pigmented i wish i knew why my camera was giving me problems do you guys see how there's like a reflective quality to them uh they are gorgeous if you're not into that kind of a look you're not gonna like these i'm just gonna say it outright if you're more of a matte blush person these are not gonna be for you because they are like i don't want to say glittery because they're just not glittery but do you see how they kind of reflect and shine? They do have a lot of reflect in them. So if that's not for you, don't get these because you won't like them. I'm just gonna tell you guys that right now. Um, you know, there are those of us that like the glowy kind of products and those of us that like more matte products. So if that's you, I would say don't waste your time or money on these, but if you are interested in them, they are a really, really good product. They remind me a little bit of like NARS Orgasm blush, which has a little bit of that reflect in it. Also, uh, the Bomb Bahama Mama. 
Hot Mama, Hot Mama. The Bomb Hot Mama blush is also kind of similar. And Natasha Denona makes these duo glow blushes that do a kind of similar thing to these. The next one is Look Don't Touch. If I can get it open. Ooh, she's pretty. It's just your very, very standard, like, pink. Like, just, just pink. I don't even want to, like, put, like, a descriptive word in front of the pink. It's just pink. It kind of looks like it has a little... Uh, no, it doesn't. I was going to say it looks like it has a little like coral uh, to it, but it doesn't. So this is what this looks like and it's really pretty. I really like that. It's just like that classic like doll pink. Um, oh, look at that. That is, this is nothing. Ignore this. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so, so excited for these in particular. It's not very often that they put out limited edition um, extra dimension blushes. I actually don't remember the last time that I, like they do a lot of highlighters in limited edition collections, but I can't remember the last time I saw a limited edition collection like put out fun blush shades, if if I'm honest, unless it was just a new blush collection, like the Glow Play blushes that came out last year or when these came out or their mineral blushes, like the mineralized blushes. I don't remember the last time that they put out just, ooh, I just looked at the next one, a whole bunch of new blushes. So this is in Dilly Dolly. It is like a cool tone pink. I just kind of want to see in the packaging what these two look okay yeah nothing alike like one is much more cool tone pink and one is much like brighter and warmer so this is this last one it is really pretty i really like this color it's very light pink very dusky kind of pink uh i feel like you'd have to be very careful depending on your skin tone with this um for somebody fair, I could definitely see it looking really, really beautiful. I'm not too sure how it would look on deeper skin, personally. Uh, I just don't know how well it would show up. But let's test it on a fair person. I'm going to try this blush on. Um, oh, something else to note. No mirrors in these. It kind of looks shiny, but there is no actual mirror in here. Not that that's a big deal. There's not mirrors in their regular ones either. But just in case you guys were curious... Um, no mirrors there, so I will pick up a little bit. I've got a brand new clean blush brush just so we can see exactly what this does. So, very pretty, very light, very shimmery, as I expect. Like, the formula is not new for me. I'm just doing this kind of just to see what the color looks like, but I really like it. I think it's just that light little kiss of something, you know, just that little bit of pink. Really, really pretty. So that is it for the new Black Cherry Collection by MAC. Like I said, I was, it was funny because I was dabbling, last year around this time I did a no buy and it uh, didn't go very well. And I was kind of dabbling with doing that again this year um, because I was like, ah, you know, MAC Spring Collection, that would be the first time I would break, I could imagine. And I didn't realize how late into the year we were that the Spring Collection was going to come out, like now, uh, and I broke. So... That didn't go very well. That lasted a day, maybe. So if this is something you guys are interested in, like I said, don't be too discouraged if you can't get it online right now. They normally do do a restock, at least in Canada, they normally do. Um, but also, if you are in an area where restrictions are a little lighter, go and check out your freestanding Mac stores or your stores within stores um, and just see what they can do for you as well. Because even if they're not carrying it, there is a chance that either they can tell you who has it or they can get it in for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these swatches. I am so excited about this collection. I can't wait till their summer collection comes out. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm excited for it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what parts of this collection are you getting or are you going to wait for summer or does none of this interest you? Let me know down below. If you're not already and you would like to be, then subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.